I'm Jennifer. And I'm Becky. And we're Desperate, Desperate House, House Sisters. Sisters. We are having our St. Patty's Day. Yay! Special so that you can have it just in time in case you want to try this recipe um, at your house. We're going to make Guinness lamb stew and Cole Cannon shepherd's pie. That's a mm. mouthful. Here's your ingredients. Okay, this, we're doubling the recipe, keep that in mind. You need three pounds of lamb shoulder, well trimmed and cut into one and a half inch pieces. It's gonna be my job. Three tablespoons of olive oil, two medium onions, four large diced carrots, two celery stalks, diced, six cloves of garlic, minced, one tablespoon of chopped fresh rosemary, three tablespoons of tomato paste, one fourth cup of all purpose flour, one and a half cup of Guinness drought, zest of a lemon, sea salt and cracked pepper, and then for the the, the cold cannon, which is the potatoes that is going to go on top of the stew, that's what makes the shepherd pie, I guess. Um, you need five medium Yukon gold potatoes, peeled and roughly chopped, kosher salt, two leeks, um, two garlic cloves, two cups of shredded Savoy cabbage, one and one fourth cup milk, one half cup heavy cream, and black pepper. We need butter. That's not that was not on there. there. And we don't have butter, so we're substituting with margin. So because we know, do what we want, we just do by the seat of our pants anyway. But so that list was not doubled. That is what you would need, and they said that that makes six to eight servings. Oh, we're gonna have a lot. Well, we were going to do a scavenger hunt. The St. Patty's scavenger hunt. Um, but I'm just now realizing that we didn't do that, and that, so we'll come up with something. Hopefully, we're entertaining enough. Da da da. All right. So step one says, pat lamb dry, salt and pepper it, in a heavy bottom stock pot or Dutch oven. Heat the oil over medium heat until it is shimmering. Work in batches, brown all. Add onion. <sighs> what? Why? I always get stuck cutting the onions. Onions, carrots, celery. What do the onions last? I'll help you. Have you ever had Guinness? Nope. Oh wait, I've tasted it. Okay. Let's see. It's pretty it's dark. It's healthy in the sense that it's got plenty of vegetables. <laughs> but it has Guinness and. Don't say it. I told you to wait to do the onions last that I would do it for you. Do everything else. You're going to make me cry again. You're going to make yourself cry. <laughs> Becky's a crier. Because the wind blows from that window right in my face. This is the first time we've ever filmed with this window being open. It's not true. Not every single time we've opened the window because you're like, I'm hot. Can we open that window? Every single time. Oh, we haven't been here for a couple weeks, so. We had some health and family business happening, I believe. We'll say. That's what we'll say. <laughs> I am looking at having another heart procedure done. I don't think I've talked too much about on here yet. We've talked a lot about the stomach stuff, but I have a pretty bad heart, y'all. Anyways, I had my yearly cardiac appointment. I go in um, to have my medication refills and things such as that. And she'd been asking me how I've been feeling and I have been kind of slowing down again. And they did my scan, an, an EKG, and found that I was in a new rhythm, have a new problem that I've never had be before on any of the other stuff. So it's not a flare up of any of the old stuff. This is another new thing, which is extremely depressing and kind of scary. And the procedure that I'm hopefully trying to avoid is with the paddles they want to shock me and try to see if they can get me in a new rhythm 
Why are they so slippery? Dang. Betsy and I had a mini fight. Um, doesn't matter what it was about, but you just can't keep sisters apart. You know what I mean? At least not ones like us. I love you. Mm-hmm. You can look me in the eye when you say it. I'm crying from your onions, but I love you. Can you see me? Hey, hey. <laughs> hey. I love you, too. Okay, I'm glad you can do it. We got a moment. Did we? Mm-hmm. Did you hear that? She said, I'm glad you could do that with a straight face. <laughs> She does care about me, whether you know it or not. If they know us, they know us. Oh gosh. So what else has happened these last couple weeks? Becky went purple. This is not purple, it's raspberry jam. Oh, my husband really likes it. He wants me to keep it like this for a while. Really? That's mm -hmm. weird, but then we're not the blonde and the brunette. I'm still the blonde in my heart. Then I do something stupid and then I go, oh, I'm having a blonde moment. And then I go, oh, I'm not blonde anymore. I'll say hi to my friend Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> She's been watching us. So. Oh, we like that. Don't forget, we're still doing the drawing. Once when we get 50 subscribes, we're going to draw um, one of your names for the Starbucks gift. My ex-sister-in-law, Chrissy, who I love dearly, is watching, and that she, Addison said that she thinks that Chrissy has tried some of our recipes. Mm. So if that is true, let us know, and let us know how it turned out. Or we we are. had somebody tell us, but they just want us to, you know, like, keep this to, like, three, five minutes without, you know, just okay. the recipe is the important thing. And we're like, you're not getting the point of this. It's about sitting on our butts, having a good time with each other, mm -hmm. with and being happy, doing something I'm to happy. take away from the humdrum of our lives, our desperate housewife life. <laughs> and in all reality, this is actually really good for our family too. How do you cook? like this any other day of the week for your baby <laughs> okay ready whoa i didn't do it i just threw it in like you told me to <laughs> are we supposed to salt it or anything yeah you were supposed to you were i read it you can you. still do it i have yucky hands i know my friend brandon he watches. Oh, hey, Brandon. He says we're funny to watch. He likes, he misses us, so. Yeah, we're going to get together. Maybe you can have some Guinness with the boy. Tiffany's been watching. Me too. Almost every video. She says that she feels like she's sitting here with us, and she it makes her miss him. And she feels like she's here with us. Is Starbucks in every state? <laughs> I think so. I'm pretty sure, yes. I hope so. I think they're like Tim Hortons is not. at the moment, no. All that jazz. Oh, Carry it. Are you ready for? How's it going? <laughs> I have bloody mitts. Oh yes. And I need to wash them and wash off the. I got one more. So hold on. Okay. And all that jazz. <laughs> jazz fingers. Bloody. Yeah, my daughter and I got, shout out to Stacey, um, for the color street, but my daughter and I did manicures on ourselves, each other or whatever, so now our thing is to, she says, mom, when we see each other, I want you to go. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're, yeah, glitter finger. Okay, what's, did it say to peel these potatoes or just roughly chop? Peeled and roughly chopped. Peeled. Oh. What? I only have one of these. 
Well, then only half of them are getting peeled. Well, then maybe we don't need to peel the potatoes? No, we need to peel all the potatoes, for sure. I'll do this real quick. So Lily and I, Lily has decided, after hearing one country song in her entire life, that country is her favorite music. <laughs> Good for her. Did you introduce her to Miranda Lambert? No. It was, she found it herself. And the song was, she only likes me from a twang. Okay. <laughs> Just because I'm honest and blunt does not mean that I am rude. Mm, you can be rude and blunt. Depends on how it's portrayed. I'm not saying you per se, but I think sometimes you can hate you been rude. <laughs> But I'm also not afraid to pick up the phone and call somebody and say, hey, I have a problem. Let's see where this goes. I respect people like that. And not, yeah. I don't it like it when people, I don't understand fabricating things mm -hmm. to make okay so you don't like somebody do you really have to have a reason not to like somebody necessarily no no okay so can't you just say i just don't like that person do you have to make up a whole story about why even though it's a lie mm -hmm. yeah i don't like that yeah or make them feel like less about themselves mm -hmm. you can not like somebody and still want the best for them mm -hmm. and that's where people you can not like somebody and love them. <laughs> Bro, nail on the head right there. And I'm trying my fastest. I still have other things to cut up and all these carrots. You're working on potatoes. You don't always have to like someone <laughs> to love them. <laughs> No reason to peel a Yukon bowl. You can eat the skin perfectly, especially in a soup. Why are we peeling potatoes? It's not a soup. Stew, whatever. Okay, so after we get all of this in, we'll let it cook for five minutes and then add the garlic, like I said. Down. Yeah, I feel like I'm at church. <laughs> I am orange from carrots. Uh, Jennifer's cut up the rosemary. I cut up cabbage. I got eight cups. That's probably, I think it's four for normal. I don't remember. We cut up the leeks, leeks which we've never cooked through them before either. What we're going to do, um, cut up the potatoes and I got them started. We're still de-browning with the vegetable triad there of onions, celery, and carrots, of course. We added, and we added the garlic to that. But it is now time. We let it cook for 30 minutes. It is time to add the tomato paste and the rosemary. We're gonna let it cook for two minutes. I'm a strange hair issue. <laughs> Wanna put butter? Melt the butter? What's wrong? Here, like howling. Your daughter upstairs. So there's the vegetables doing their thing. Here's the cooked lamb that will be going back soon. All right, it's been two minutes. We're gonna add the lamb back. Let me do it. So if you get the flour ready. How much flour? Get it stirred. Oh, stir it. Just, just, just stir it good. Oh, stir it. Stir it real good. Yeah, two more minutes. Then Guinness, lemon zest, and salt and pepper. Why does it say add peas? Peas were not on the list. <laughs> this recipe person sucks. Look, it says add peas. We don't have any peas. Whoever wrote this recipe 
shame on you. Shame. Well, see, y'all, that's why we're doing this for you. So you know what to expect. Sounds like carrots and tomatoes, too. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Jennifer's first anniversary is on St. Patrick's Day. They got married on St. Patrick's Day last year, so they'll be married a year next Wednesday. Yeah, y'all. Shout out to Rookie Boo. I love you. Bad peas. Can I smell it? Thank you for that. I'm going to pour that guy in. And I pour one more in. I it used still it. got frozen in oh, it. Oh, worse. It's okay. Maybe it won't frozen in it. Elsa not in there. Yeah. Get your Let it go. Out. My man's here. Let it go. Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen. Delicious. Got the butter melting back there for the leeks. Mashed potatoes boiling. That looks so, so good. Is it boiling? You need to bring it to a boil and then turn the heat down. Bring it to a Let's get ready to stumble. Before you do that. I'm going to salt and pepper it and then have me taste it. Have me taste it? Yeah, because not all the beer is like burnt out and I don't like it. I don't like that beer. But you don't mind beer in general. That's not the same thing. Nitro. <laughs> I think you can't say that word. Nitrogenated. <laughs> Nitrogenated. Nitrogenated. <laughs> I don't know what's uh, happening here. N I T R O G E N A T E D. Nitrogenated. Stout. <laughs> Coats the spoon nicely. Mm. That's good. I'll taste a little lemon still. Do we need more salt and pepper? Yeah. Okay, hey, now what? It's boiling. Now what? Turn it down to simmer for one and a half to two hours. It is starting to stick a little bit, so beware. Stir it often. Being this, we would never have cooked anything, even, I don't even think, even like a holiday, I would not spend this much time on one individual item. I mean, the turkey, obviously, but like. We suck, so. <laughs> Add leeks, cook eight to 10 minutes until soft. Add garlic. Cook until leeks turning brown. Well, then I can add the garlic. Ooh, all I smell is these right now. All I smell is these bad boys right here. What's up with those potatoes? So that's one cup. How many cups do you do? It's two cups. Now. It's one cup in and one cup out, but for us it's two cups in, two cups out. Okay, we have to add milk. And cream so that when the butter starts to wilt. And then I have to add the rest of this cabbage to these and start mashing. Man, I feel like a woman cooking up with a headache. <laughs> We're gonna be some weird mashed potatoes. <laughs> it's not mashed potatoes. Oh, it's cold cannon. Okay, so here are the leeks, some cabbage, butter, milk, and cream. And when it starts to bubble, we're going to pour it in here with our Yukons and the rest of the cabbage. And then that pretty guy is going to go, I'm going to put him in the roaster. 
and we're going to put these potatoes on top and cook it at 350 for all time, an amount of time. Yes. 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so everything is ready for us to pile together at the roaster pan. I'm sure you, if you weren't doubling this, you could just leave it in your Dutch oven and put... That's how it said to yeah, do. But we have too much of it. Our potatoes turned out a little runnier than what we imagined mashed potatoes to look like. So we're not real sure what the coal cannon is supposed to look like. Um, but it is a runnier consistency than what the mashed potatoes would be a regular shepherd's pie. But it's loaded with butter, so. Oh. oh, we never added the peas. <laughs> Why do we do that? We're so weird. Okay, that's interesting. Not bad. Why does that remind me of Grandma Green? The whole point is to get the potatoes brown, so you don't want to cover it. Don't cover it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our to Hashtag, the... don't send me another video later saying the same exact thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. like, subscribe, oh, bell, yeah. follow us on TikTok, follow us on Facebook, invite everybody. Um, because after 50 subscribers, we're going to be doing the drawing. So, happy St. Patty's Day! Ew. Hey y'all, we're back for our poopometer. Just because I felt like it. So, my family gave it a 2.5 on the poopometer. I didn't feel like doing the exact math, but they got a, oh, my husband says 2.4. 1.4. Oh. Yeah, the 12 divided oh, by 5. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Hey, so enjoy. Happy St. Patty's Day.